Hey Facebook friends, Edfinity here, and just want to wish you a happy New Year's. Hopefully, you had some uh, a good time celebrating with friends and family, and maybe you went to bed early. But either way, happy New Year's. Uh, you know, a few days ago, I challenged you to reflect back on 2017 and just kind of figure out what went well, what didn't go well. I also said you should probably do this with your children. Well, I did with my children, asking them what they thought was they did well. In 2017 or even you know for two or three years what are they doing that they're proud of what are they doing that is bringing life and benefit to them and what are they not so what much doing that's helping them or what are they doing that's hindering their success very interesting for for my perspective is that they had a hard time answering both sides of that they couldn't say what they did well I mean they gave me one or two answers but they really had a hard time elaborating what they added to their life that brought meaning. In fact, I came up with more suggestions than they could, which made me start to think about just how they process stuff and how they're able to analyze. Remember, um, my goal was to teach adult lessons to my teenagers. And you know what? Maybe they were a little too young or maybe they just never practiced doing that. So if you ask your kids, I'm very curious if they were able to say what they did well, what they're doing that's hindering. But it was a very interesting conversation because I was able to highlight, talk to them about what they're doing that's making them a better person, what's doing, what habits are they doing that's helping them to be more successful. So it was kind of nice because they should hear it from their dad. They should hear positive things from their parents. So in that regard, it was kind of cool and that, that I was able to help them and, and pour life and benefit and speak vision into them. Things they're doing that they didn't even realize because, guess what? They're doing it anyway, so it's just part of their everyday living. They didn't know that it was a really good thing to do, and not every teenager is doing that. But we also talked about some dangers, things that they're doing now. Probably almost every teenager on the planet, right? But you know, being aware of social media and how much screen time they're, they're watching. And hey, if their goal is to increase one area, and yet they watch four or five hours of YouTube videos, is that the most beneficial time or use of their time? Anyway, it was just a really good conversation. So if you haven't had that conversation with your children, I really recommend you doing that. Ask them what they did well last year and what they need to change, what they let sneak in that they shouldn't have, and see what comes up. But I'd also like to add that, hey, moving forward, 2018, you probably got a bunch of emails already this morning trying to make 2018 the best year ever. You know, I, I just read a study... Uh, Actually, in church, my pastor shared some, and I read one uh, online uh, talking about how New Year's resolutions don't work well. In fact, after a week, a quarter of the people who make them already failed on it. And after a month or two, another third have dropped their New Year's resolution. So how does you know, someone like you or me, how do we make plans to make it a better year without failing? Well, the things that I've come up with over the years I've read and i practice is one, make a goal. And write it down. Put it where you're going to see it. So think of whatever the goal is that you have for this year, whatever your children's goal is for this year. Is it to make the Aon roll or Beyond roll? Is it to, to make a certain um, part of the team or a certain part of the play? Maybe it's uh, to move up on the levels of the, the in, in band or orchestra. Whatever it is, okay? Have them write it down. Put it in writing and then put it where they're going to see it. Put it on their desk where they do their homework. Put it... Um, on the bathroom mirror. It's something that they're going to be reminded of their goal. But not just write out the goal, which is very important, but now write two, three, four steps on how you're going to achieve it. Don't, you know, hey, listen, I, if you're like, I want to lose 20 pounds, well, we all want to lose weight, right? Well, how are you going to do it? Well, you got to write down how you're going to cut down the calories, how you're going to increase exercise, how you're going to, um, maybe you ha have a certain snack that you're eating that's not healthy. But if you just say, I want to lose weight, well, we kind of all want to do that, and we kind of all bail on that on the next party, the next time someone brings in donuts or has a birthday cake. So not only write out your goal, but write down two or three steps on how you're going to achieve that goal. Well, I know when I set out writing my book, I had to do a lot of things to make that come to a reality. First thing I wrote down, I want to write a book. But second, I'm like, well, what, what's hindering me from doing that? And you know what? I like to volunteer at my church. I like to volunteer doing different things at school. I like to volunteer with my friends, doing a variety of stuff. So some I kept doing, but some I had to pull back on. I had to get rid of all the extra things that are going to hinder 
what I can do. My focus had to be laser focus on accomplishing the one goal. And you know, I wonder if we're like that on many things. You know, we have good intentions and we don't want to say no. And yet then we let we say yes to a bunch of little things and it hinders us from hitting our main goal, our main priority. So for 2018, you, your family, your children, write out some goals. What do you want to do to make this year, you know, better than last year? But then go one step further and write out some steps that you can implement starting this week to start moving towards it. So maybe you had one big goal and then you have a few smaller goals and steps to work towards it. All right, I'll come back and talk to you a little bit later, but thanks again, and again, Happy New Year's.